What is up, guys? Welcome to Virtual Red Band number 672, Saturday Chill. That's right. This is a special Saturday episode. I just thought, hey, you know, I missed Tuesday. Even though I went, we did a crazy long episode last night. If you missed last night's episode, it was actually in three parts. That's how long last night was. But I thought, why not? Let's just do an extra episode. So here we are. Happy Saturday, guys. I am having my first drink of the night. Mm. Cheers to you guys if you are drinking, pooing, or whatever. Uh, if you want to, I'm wearing a Death Squad hat, the new uh, uh, Starlux hat, and uh, I'm drinking out of the new Death Squad mug. If you want either of these things, you know where to go. Go to shopsquad.tv. There we have all the new shirts, the new hats, the new mugs, and even the new stickers. Mm-hmm. Those new stickers are pretty badass. Look at these little babies. Yeah. Yeah, queen. Uh, and uh, if you could also go to DeathSquad.tv, there you have every single past episode of Kill Tony. You have links to Shop Squad on the top. You also have links to all the Kill Tony episodes. And, and uh, you could also click on Sunset Strip Comedy Club, which is my comedy club here in Austin, Texas. So if you're ever in Austin, come check it out. We have shows every single day all week, including Cam Patterson from Kill Tony. He's doing his bi-weekly uh, Black and Mild show on Wednesday. But of course, my show, Secret Show, is every single Thursday. And it's usually like 15 to 17 comedians. There's a lot of the Kill Tony crew on there and a lot of surprises. So come check out my show, Secret Show, every Thursday. All this can be found at DeathSquad.tv. Made it short and sweet today because this is going to be a chill episode. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's no new news, really. I think I have a couple things we could look at, but there's nothing really new. 
How are you guys doing in the chat? Frank Poe, Santa Claus is back. Frank gifted a membership to Rock and Roll. Welcome, Rock and Roll. And thanks, Frank. Thanks for gifting. You're always so nice. Nice and nice and gifting. Um, uh, yeah, so these uh, laid back episodes, if you're new here, these laid back episodes are a little bit more chill than a normal episode. I, some of the times these are the best episodes though. Uh, Red Band, do I like Alf? I used to love Alf. That was one of my favorite shows to watch when it was back when it was on TV. Uh, I haven't watched it recently, but uh, I always liked it. Um, there was something kind of fucked up too. He, you know, him always wanting to murder a cat, which was kind of fucked up, you know, even though it was funny, but uh, the whole idea where he wanted to eat that cat so much always kind of, kind of made me laugh. No, Alf is cool. It was so weird uh, back then. Because there were so many TV sitcoms, you know, sitcoms were such a huge deal back then. And when you had uh, a show like ALF, um, which is just like a puppet, uh, alien puppet, you know, it was so weird back then. They, they always tried weird shit. My, one of my favorite shows, I can never find much about it, though, was a show called Mr. Smith. I think it was called. And it was about a chimpanzee that was the president of the United States of America. And he talked like Humphrey Bogart. He's like, hey, you toots, if I remember. Uh, And I think it was called Mr. Smith TV show. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Mr. Smith, here it is. Uh, (laughs) Here. Let's just watch a a little trailer for Mr. Smith. This was in 1983. But I tell you, when this shit was on the air, I mean, that's how old I am. I remember this from 1983. This shit was so fucking weird, dude. Let's see. I'm here to tell you about Mr. I hate the promos, don't you? So if you'd like to hear more about my new show, Mr. Smith... Uh, call me at 1-900-40-SMITH, and uh, I'll tell you all about it. God, I think people are really going to call? Well, he definitely didn't have the accent like I remembered. I must have been remembering that Looney, or that Hanna-Barbera character where he was, because there was a chimpanzee, a Hanna-Barbera chimpanzee character that did, was like, hey, you toots. But yeah, that's not what the, I remember the voice at all. What is this one? Oh, here's the opening. Let's just look at the opening. Wow, look at this. I have not seen this in, since 1983. Look at this cheese dips. Tim Dung- Dunnikin? Terry Garber? Wait a second. Well, who's this? This is going to end up being somebody, right? Nope. That's a girl? Oh my god, I thought that was a guy. Didn't you guys think that was a guy? Some hippie 70s, 70s-year-old guy? 70s kid. Jesus. Stuart Marigold, whatever. Look at that. And the President of the United States, CJ. I wonder if CJ's still alive. Wow, well, look at this Burger King commercial. Can't wait. We have something to tell you. Can't keep it a secret any longer. So quiet. See, from the very beginning, I knew he was a winner. I felt the same way. So now it's time for everybody in the world to know. Burger King has switched to Pepsi. Burger King is... Ooh. Wait, does Burger King still have Pepsi? God, why would they switch to Pepsi? Does anyone know? Has anyone been to Burger King lately? I can't remember. Burger King has Pepsi? Who does that? Ooh. And Pepsi. Two what the tape. fuck? Together at last. Together at last. <laughs> Ew. Wow. Are you missing something in your treatment of sinus? Introducing new maximum. All right. Meanwhile, at the White House. All right. It doesn't seem. Terrible. Mis- What's the matter? Raymond's cooking gave me appendicitis. What the fuck? Appendicitis? Hello? 
worry, Ellie. The Institute has a private clinic, and that way I can be with you. And they got great doctors. And how did they make him? How did they make him talk? I'm in you thoroughly. But you were ready. And were they scared at all that this chimpanzee might just go crazy and tear this person's face off? But it was. I'm not a doctor. Is this a puppet? A oh, I think it's a puppet you, right now. This calls for a real doctor, and the Institute has right? the best in the world. That has to be a puppet. I suppose it is what she said. Appendix, they'll just take it out. It's a very simple surgical procedure. What That's the right. fuck is this? Sorry, sir, I don't know what came over me. I hope you'll put that out of your mind. I wish I could. Okay, this is definitely a puppet now. So in some, sometimes it's a puppet and sometimes it's a real monkey. Wow, my mind's blown. I never knew. I thought it was always a monkey. Like, that's a monkey. That I mean, that's a chimpanzee. That's a real Mr. chimpanzee right, right there, right? Yes, Mr. Smith is an expert diagnostician. He's highly respected here. He could probably perform surgery if he had hands like ours. Yes, and if my grandmother had wheels, she'd be a trolley car. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, that's a real chimpanzee. Mr. Smith. This is so weird, guys. Here. I have to talk to you right away. Judy, how you doing? Nice outfit. Do we really want to do a craniotomy? We? I don't know who we is, Mr. Smith. Your arteriogram shows that the aneurysm... This is so fucking weird, dude. ...carotid artery in the supraclinoid portion of the vessel. Right? Surgery was all work and no play. <laughs> Two syringes and a contrast fluid. We didn't. The other's just saline. Saline solution? That's why the carotid didn't show up. You gotta use the right stuff. But I'm going what the fuck is going on here, guys? And I thought brain surgery was all work and no play. <laughs> what is this, guys? That's not a puppet. No, he's only a puppet sometimes. Like, this is a real chimpanzee. Okay. What the heck is this, guys? Look at this. See, this is a puppet. I think. Yeah, that's a puppet, right? What the fuck is going on here, guys? I have no idea. Why did they cancel this sweet show? Why did they cancel it? Wow, they have all the episodes. Where are you now? At a motel near Resorts International is called the Motherlode. <laughs> All right, what, how do we get into this? Oh, Alf. Yes, Alf. Alf actually ha has made a comeback recently. Or he, I saw him on something. It's kind of cool that, they, that Alf still pops up from time to time. Um, like, what was it? It was something recently. Uh... What? What's it? What is this? Afternoon, everybody. Today we're diving into a classic TV gym that left us all. All right, so this is a retro renaissance on YouTube, and he has Alf's disturbing final episode. You won't believe what happens to our beloved alien. I don't think I've actually ever watched the last ep episode. Six to 1990. It was created by Paul Fusco. The show revolves around an extraterrestrial creature named Alf, short for alien life form, who crash lands on Earth and is taken in by the Tanner family. Alf comes from the planet Melmac, which was destroyed in an explosion. He is a furry, brown, sarcastic, and lovable alien with an appetite for cats. The Tanners, a suburban middle-class family living in a fictional town of Lindbrook, California, discover Alf in their garage. Look at Alf walk. I forgot when Alf walked. He was just like a little little person in a... Look at that. And decide to look shelter him. From look at that juicy butt. 
Yeah, I don't like seeing Alf's body. Like, I don't mind him hanging out behind, like, a counter, you know, or whatever. But his little butt, his little butt, I don't want to see little Alf butt. Government authorities who are eager to capture him. Alf was voiced and puppeteered by Paul Fusco. So, by the end of the meeting, he was actually uh, looking into Alf's eyes. Bearing in patient woman who helps Alf. All right. This, ah! what? Oh, my gosh, it's somebody's hand. <laughs> tomorrow there well it, it is for them but for us it's it's, it's he, i think today. he recently see, died the, <laughs> i'm gonna miss you most the of first karen ever made i'm on my second piece of cake <laughs> i'm gonna miss you most of all they exchange parting gifts well <laughs> looking back at alf's hair though i mean he has product in his hair look at that little flip he has on his hair i mean i kind of don't like that i've never really thought about it but that means that Alf has a little bit of hairspray in his hair. And I, and I think that's gross. I don't like the idea of Alf like doing his bangs like that, you know? Like he, he, got, he actually spent some time on his hair when he woke up. Alf should not be like this. I'm gonna scare him away. Okay, so I'm guessing Alf is going back home. I mean, I skipped ahead because I just don't want to get copyright struck. But I'm guessing Alf is going back home, and that's, you know, this is the last episode of Alf. And the aliens, uh, or I mean, and the government, of course, is getting involved, uh, and they're doing like classic E.T. shit, right? They, they're going to... Wait, gentlemen, get ready to go down in history. <laughs> the family and Alf arrive at the field location where they are meant to meet the other Milmakians. After they say their goodbyes. I kind of remember this actually. I kind of actually remember this. Because I, I remember Alf wearing that trench coat. And I remember even as a kid going, that's creepy. Because, you know, we grew up only seeing trench coats when people like flash people. Like, it was like, like a, I don't think they do that shit anymore. But it used to be a thing where like somebody would wear a tr trench coat and then just open it up and you're naked underneath. Why is that not a thing anymore? I never thought about that. That used to be such a big thing in the 80s. Guys wearing trench coats and flashing people. But I thought, I remember, I think I saw this episode because I remember thinking, like, Alf is naked wearing a trench coat. I don't know. It just kind of freaked me out. And he's got a product in his hair. Look, now he's got it more swooped to the side. Actually, they realized that Alf is, is trying to steal their VCR. Hair? Oh my God, did you see his hair right there? Alf is trying to steal their VCR. Well, look at that. This is obnoxious. And yes, Alf's nose is a penis. When it's not hard. It's, you know, just there. It's doing the little turtle head wrinkle thing. Then we see lights in the sky and Alf's friends arrive and they begin to land. Oh, there we go. We got, we got little, little person Alf. At least he's not showing his butt this time and he... But he's wearing a trench coat. Or is that even a trench coat? Like, what is this outfit? I mean, Alf, this is your last episode. Oh my God. Honesty, if I see this in the field, I'm not sure alien would be my first assumption. Anyway, Alf's friends see this and they bail. His one chance leave. And after that. Are you fucking kidding me right now? That's how Alf ended? Are you fucking kidding me? That's the last episode of Alf? I, did I know that? I, I think it was a season finale, so, and then it got canceled, so they just never got to make the next episode. So as a kid, you just thought, oh, no, I have to wait till next season. And then it never came, and I just never thought about it. I never knew that. ALF was canceled. So this was the final episode of ALF. This was the end. He gets captured by the government. Look at that hair product. You know, and I never noticed that he's got a unibrow. ALF has a unibrow. His friends leave him. And we can only assume the horrific things the government oh did. Oh my god. The show just ended. No more. That's the final episode. Wait, what is that? Wait, what is this? What is this right here that we're looking at? 
Why is Alf at a strip club? What is what the fuck is this video I'm watching? Now they did make Project Alf in 1996, trying What's to correct Project the ending. Alf? Isn't this the kitty cat loan? What the fuck is Project Alf? Do you guys know about Project Alf? What the fuck is Project Alf? Why am I getting all this Alf information now? Yeah. Well, I'd like a nice big fat calico, medium rare. Are you some kind of sicko? Wait, I've seen this. What is this? However, the movie lacked the charm and the fun of it. It was a movie? And other than Alf being in it, it didn't really come across as an Alf show or movie. And it was six years later after the final episode. What the Let's talk about why the show was canceled. Wait, what? most of the cast. Why are you just going over Project Alf real quick? What the fuck is Was that a movie that came out in the movie theater? Is that a TV movie? Why, why are you skipping over Project Alf? What the fuck is Project Alf? Are you kidding me? Project Alf. It was a TV movie, 1996. Get out of here. Uh, IMDb, it's got a 5.4 out of 10. Just looking through the cast, it doesn't look like it has any of the original cast members in it. So maybe that's why it didn't take off. I don't think it does. Ed Begley Jr.'s in there, and I was, I'm a big Ed Begley Jr. fan, but... Hmm. <clears throat> Paul? Okay, so the only other person was Dr. Carnage. Who the fuck is Dr. Oh, it's that girl from Mama's, Mama's family or whatever. Alpha's great. The rest is rubbish. What? Instead of the fifth season, six years after the series, Alpha was canceled after the fourth season, leaving us with a cliffhanger. The authors decided to pack the story set for the fifth season into a TV movie. On one hand, I am pleased that the story is rounded up. On the other, they did not particularly bother to do it right. The complete original cast disappeared without a trace. And Alf, although standardly good, cannot outweigh all the other aspects of the movie that are quite lame, while nostalgia is struggling with disappointment. Hmm. Man, that's... That is... That is sad. Wait a second. Can we see a trailer of it, Project? See, I mean, this video we're watching just kind of skipped. All right, here's the trailer. Oh, the whole movie. Project Alpha, by the way, is on YouTube. Maybe we'll watch it later. Who knows? Uh, all right, here's the trailer for Project Alpha. I'm sure it's copyright, you know. Hidden in the vastness of the great American desert is the world's most secret project. This panel has convened to render a decision as Why are to the all immediate these future so quiet? of the alien life form known as Alf. Hi. <laughs> all right, take your I like time, that guy, that actor. Get over the initial shock. Presenting the return of one of the universe's most loved critics. Oh, please. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Do I have to come up with funny answers? <laughs> Medic? In a battle to the death with one of Hollywood's most respected stars. What? Oh, why don't you just stab me? Listen to me Are you kidding you me? Furry little freak. When we exterminate you, we're gonna be sending a message He's in this to every other extraterrestrial out there. We will no longer be intimidated. Not me, not my mama, not anyone. Your mama? Did he say his mama? We found out he was warm and friendly. Are you kidding me? Annoying, but That's, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we just see? Yes, we did. We saw a we saw a little man, Alf. You guys ready for this? It, it goes fast, but we have a updated little man, Alf. And I'm going to tell you, it's just as creepy and weird. You can see him. The shadow of him about to run by. This goes fast, but little man, Alf, and his little butt is going to go by. Ready? Occasionally annoying, Look at that little but highly intelligent creature. How do you feel about dating outside of your species? It wouldn't Damn, be that would be fucking awesome. Did they make ALF porn? Are we going to be looking at ALF porn in a bit? 
Ew. She's just gonna sit on it. The first time. Wait, what'd she say, that dumb bitch? Wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't be the first time? Oh, God, that's hilarious. It wouldn't be the first time. Dude, that's hilarious. That's a funny fucking joke for a TV movie. Do you want to date outside of your species? Wouldn't it be the first time? That means that girl has fucked a dog before or something. She, that's the joke right there. She fucked a dog. She fucked a, put a snake in her. Like, what do you think it is? I mean, she, she sounds like she's Russian, so maybe it's like a, a timber wolf or something. Species. It wouldn't be the first time. She does sound Russian. No, I might be wrong. Who knows? Isn't she delightful? Isn't she delightful? Fucking love this. Like Alpha's cool. The Mensch from Mel Mac is back. Yeah. Whoa! And now, he's dude, dude, Alf goes to a strip club. He's an alien with an attitude. Now, I hope you're not trying to win any prizes with those. Alphas. Oh, there's Alf walking again. I hate Alf walking. We need to quit on the Alf walking. No more Alf walking, please. Alf walking ruins everything. He looks goofy. He looks goofy. Not <laughs> goofy. Not that kind of goofy. He looks dumb. A little dumb butt. And he looks got, you could tell there's a little person in there. Like, it, it's a bad, Alien with bad look. Attitude. Look. Now, I hope you're not trying to win any prizes. Look at that dumbass. The village people uniform's okay, but that dog suit's the worst. What? Permission Wait, to and his nose? I'm sorry. Did they change Alf's nose? Doesn't his nose look really thin right there? It looks a little scarier than normal. And his nose kind of looks like there's a face at the end, if I'm going to be honest. But doesn't that seem like a thinner Alf nose? Like, why do I think that Alf has a, a fatter nose? I don't know. Maybe it's an angle thing. That's just like, that's kind of like... Maybe because he's at a strip club, they had a, a different Alf nose that's a little bit more kind of scary, you know, a little bit harder. I don't know. Fight the bouncer, sir. <laughs> sir, Alf is a menace to society and ought to be What the fuck is he doing in this movie? How is he in, in this movie? Don't you mean incarcerated, sir? No. Once people know Alf exists, he'll be Oh, safe. he's a great actor. You want to go public with Alf? Who, oh, he's a great actor. This guy, who the fuck is this guy? I hate his hair. He has elf hair. Ooh, and I hate when girls have this kind of hair. I don't like that either. Straighten that shit. I hate both of these people's hair. Oh, Man, this is, by the way, I'm sorry. I know it's it, like, Brian, are you gay or something? Why are you always talking about people's hair and shit? I don't know, man. My, my sister's a hairdresser. Uh, these are the two hottest people right there. The chick that fucks dogs and shit. Let's not forget the merchandising possibilities. Well, Do you really want to see Alf dolls and all? This guy. I hate this guy now. Do you really want to see Alf dolls in all the toy stores? As long as they're plush. I don't render well in vinyl. Miguel Ferrer. What? What is this? Now I see how bad this movie is. This is a really bad movie. I can tell. It's just really dumb. Do you really want to see Alf the merchandise? Blah, 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 blah. William O'Leary. William, I'm sorry. You probably have not had a, a job since this. Beverly Look at this o crazy bitch. This is one of those girls that it's probably like a good fuck, but she's crazy. You know what I mean? She's one of those girls that you fuck and she starts having a seizure halfway through. And yeah, she just looks like a dirty girl that's, you know, she's probably... Where is she? I, w I want to look all these people up now and follow them on Instagram. Don't you want to find this girl's Instagram? Who is this girl? I kind of want to find her Instagram and see what's going on with her. You know what? I'm going to do that right now. Who is this girl? Project Alf. Do I have to do this again? All right. Project Alf. Who are you? Jensen Daggett. What have you been in? Have you been anything in like, Home Improvement? Oh, Friday the 13th. All right, Major League. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks like she's not working anymore. She, the last thing she did was 2011. She was on an episode of Will and Grace. Looks like she was in Major League. Maybe uh, she was Maggie Reynolds. Maybe she was popular in that one. Alf. 
Huh. Well, Maggie. Jensen Daggett. Copy. Let's see. Jensen Daggett. Instagram. This is some stalker shit, Jensen. I'm sorry, but I gotta know. I gotta know. What are you doing right now? Okay. This, uh, it's not, uh, did my internet go down? Or is, like, Google, like, angry that I'm, like, doing this right now? Why is this not coming up? It's not moving. All right, well, I'll wait for that. Hmm.